Hello everyone and welcome to another math tutorial. This video is the first of a series of five videos that are going to explore how you solve exponential and logarithmic equations. There will be three videos on solving exponential equations and then two videos on solving logarithmic equations. With that said, let's get right into part one of solving exponential equations. Okay, the technique for today's video is going to be one where we're going to change the base on both sides of the equation to a common base. Uh, now in this equation here, the bases are 3 and 27. The exponents then are 4x minus 5 and x. So what I want to do is change these two numbers uh, so that they are the same number. Okay, so that's kind of step one is we're going to make the bases match. Okay. Now that can be accomplished by changing both numbers uh, or it can be accomplished by just changing one of the two numbers. Uh, so in this problem when I look at 27 it's often uh, helpful to look at the larger number uh, and see if we can rewrite that larger number as the smaller number raised to a power. Uh, so that's where I'm going to begin. I'm going to begin with the 27. I recognize 27 is a power of 3, so I'm going to change that 27 to 3 cubed. Okay? Everything else about the equation is going to stay exactly how it is. Uh, so the 27 was raised to the x, so now 3 cubed is raised to the x and the other side of the equation is still just as it is 3 raised to the 4x minus 5. Uh, now on the right side here where I've got this uh, third power raised to the x power I'm going to go ahead and combine those. We have a power raised to another power. Uh, the rule says that you can combine those two powers by multiplying them together. So this is going to create 3 raised to the 3x. At this point, now that the bases are matched, you're able to remove those bases from the equation. Uh, so we can essentially just ignore this and this, and we're going to turn this equation into 4x minus 5 equals 3x. Okay? Uh, so making the bases match uh, then we, we, we take those out and we just set the remaining exponents equal to each other. And now we just solve this very familiar looking equation. Uh, you might want to keep the x's on the left side so we can take this 3x, we can subtract it over to this side. I can take the 5 and I can add it over to the right side. So that's going to now give us 4x minus 3x which is x equals 5. And there we have it, problem is finished. Next example problem, just like the last one, our first objective is to make the bases match. The 32 and the 4 need to be made to be the same number so that we can then remove those numbers and work with just the exponents. Um, this problem, however, is a little bit different than the last problem in that um, the larger number 32 is not a power of 4, so what we're going to have to do is rewrite both of these bases uh, as maybe a, a smaller base raised to a power. Uh, so when I look at uh, 32 and 4, I recognize them both as powers of 2. 32 is the same as 2 to the fifth power, and 4 is the same as 2 to the second power. If we leave the original exponents as they are, we now have the rewritten equation like this. Uh, next, uh, before I remove the bases, I'm going to go ahead and combine the powers on both sides. Since they are powers raised to powers, we're going to multiply. So this is going to become 2 raised to the 5x minus 5 equals 2 raised to the 2x plus 16. All right, like in the last problem, once we get to this stage, we can take this common base of 2 
and we can remove it from the problem and then just work with the exponents equal to each other. So we're going to have 5x minus 5 equals 2x plus 16. I'm going to take my x's, my 2x that's on the right side, and I'm going to move it over to the left side by doing its opposite. So I'm going to subtract. I'm going to take this minus 5 and move it over to the right side by adding it. So we are left with then 5x minus 2x here is 3x, and 16 plus 5 is 21. Divide both sides by 3, finishes the problem to give x equals 7. Okay, the final example that I have of changing the bases to solve exponential equations uh, is this one here that's just like the last one in that we're gonna have to re-express the bases on both sides of the equation. Uh, but sometimes I see that uh, students see this expression over here, this, uh, this fraction, and, and kind of panic a little bit. Uh, but I wanna show how to re-express the fraction specifically uh, so that we can solve problems like this. Um, so 49, um, you know, 49 is, um, only a power of seven, I suppose. So uh, we're gonna drop 49 down to seven squared. Uh, conveniently, we have a seven over here on this side as well. Um, so I'm gonna have to re-express that also as a power of seven. Uh, we will keep this three X minus seven exponent there. And to get one seven, to move the seven uh, essentially to the denominator of the fraction, that only moves to the denominator if we had a negative exponent. It's that property of negative exponents that, that reciprocate uh, the fraction. So I can re-express one seventh as seven to the negative first power. I'm using one because this seven right here has a first power uh, implied. So if that power was negative originally, it would have moved that seven to the first to the denominator of the fraction. And then we're gonna keep, again, this four minus x power there. All right, now we're ready to go. Just like the last problem, we're gonna go ahead and combine the exponents by multiplication. So distribute the powers uh, into those binomials. So we're gonna have seven raised to the six x minus 14 equals seven raised to the negative four plus x. Okay, now, as we've seen before in the other problems, we are going to remove this common base and re-express this equation as the exponents equal to each other. So six x minus 14 equals negative four plus x. All right, I'm gonna bring, again, my x's to the left-hand side. So this positive x over to the left-hand side by subtracting. This minus 14 is gonna go over to the right-hand side by adding. So that's gonna give us now 6x minus 1x is 5x equals negative 4 plus 14 is 10. Divide both sides by 5 and we get x equals there you have it. That concludes part one of our video on solving exponential equations, uh, specifically with the technique of changing the base to a common base so we can remove it uh, and then we just set powers or exponents equal to each other. If you like this video and you like to see future content like this, uh, please be sure to give this video a like and you can support the channel by subscribing as well. Um, Thank you very much. Uh, this should take you right into part two of this series of videos if you wish to view further.